Now I'm going to show you how to wind a bobbin on a Singer Touch and Sew sewing machine. The one I'm using is a special zigzag model, 626. This is your Touch and Sew bobbin. It's bigger on the top and smaller on the bottom. These rings, if you look in your manual, will tell you how many yards of thread is on them. I believe it is maybe two yards for one of the first rings and you're not supposed to go past this ring right here. I believe that's 10 yards. And the one thing I wanted to show you is that these bobbins unscrew. So if you had some thread just a little left, you could take that off to make it emptying your bobbin. So now we're gonna place it in the machine. We're going to go, we're gonna open our slide plate and we see this little tongue here and we're going to pick it up. We're gonna put our bobbin in with the ring side up and then we're going to place our tongue down. Now we want to wind this bobbin. This machine winds the bobbin with it in place here. So we're going to go over here and we're going to push this kind of down and back. Then we're going to take our thread and we're going to wind it around our screw over here a few times to hang on to it. And it would be better if I was using my left hand and the camera's in the way, so you'll have to forgive me. And we're going to just hold that. Then you wanna make sure on this machine that this is on a straight stitch, this is on number one, and your needle selector is on the center. 